My commentary breakdowns here. This is Danielle. And we're gonna do another examination of interesting questionable moves. Now, Danielle, you've trained Muay Thai and Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Correct. So let's examine. To properly execute the labai, the discriminador checks his man, then locks his opponent's left elbow over his right arm, using his own momentum and the thrust of his legs to slam the opponent to the ground. Orthodox, he's punching, you feed that over, and somehow he wants to go like this now. Yeah. Which then gives you the motion to kind of bend him this way. So Yeah, but again, am I doing this? Is this really forcing you over though in any certain direction? Like yeah. the the assumption I think in the video is that when you're doing this, I'm just gonna go, right? But what yeah. if I say, okay, well I'll just you know your body best. You're not gonna just let your body get taken down like that. Yeah. Because this also isn't gonna do any like Yeah. 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 And the other thing is it that motion, you see that's a I, this, that's a two move thing. I yeah. Think that requires a lot of practice. Yeah, it's going to. And, and also catching the second hand, yeah. just being able to grab it yeah. as he's punching is going to be very difficult. Yeah. If I'm already here, I don't think anyone's going to want to go like this. No, especially because, no. like, can you actually hit me from there? Not really. Yeah, Not exactly. Really. So, unless I'm literally right, yeah, here. right here. But then why would she? And then if I was right here, I would move yeah. to do this. Yeah. If you're going to block a punch, you're not, you have no range yeah. of motion. Yeah. You're not even really going to be able to hit me. The only thing I can think of is maybe he was in range, so she more slipped it or something. Yeah. So maybe then you would have the uke, the person um, throwing the punches. It just seemed like I was feeding the punches for her. I was basically giving her this, right? That's what it felt like in the video. Like this, right? And then, so then, then you're trying to... So then, kind of... <laughs> Maybe. There's a lot of assumptions to this move, right? I don't think this move is something you're going to pull off much. Doesn't seem very realistic yeah. to me, yeah. to be honest. It's not a natural movement, so someone's probably not going to do that. And it goes back to, like, even when, when Danielle punched at me, let's say I dodge it, you're going to react. Yeah. Right? I don't think I'm going to, if I'm here, like, I don't yeah, think, you're gonna, I, yeah, I don't think. You're going to go like that. You're going to back away. Yeah. yeah. The only thing I think of certain people who are untrained, right, what happens is they don't have control over both their hands individually. Yeah. So they might do something like a push or something. Yeah. So maybe if they're coming at you with a push, you might able to kind of like <laughs> do that, right? So maybe not for like a punch, but they're coming at you with a push, and you know, people are trying to throw like this, I don't know, like a Tai Chi master or something. You might be able to use it. You might be able to use it if you're doing this. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe. About ready to strike, step behind and on the other side and then stand up. This foot, depending on how close this guy is, is gonna come up and get him right in the schnuggies here. Right in the schnuggies here. So he claims you step back, but here's the thing. How does me going like this bump up her right leg? Yeah. How, how does this? <laughs> yeah, so if anything, it's gonna move this leg. Yeah. But the, uh, the guy showed the right leg. Yeah, so it was. Yeah, the guy went like that. <laughs> when I learned something I here. similar, yeah. you're gonna get back. Yeah, and then she grabs my legs. Yeah, right? and what yeah. you're gonna do yeah. is you would do this. Yeah, yeah exactly. Sorry. <laughs> I got her like this. Yeah. But if I can't grab your legs, yeah. just doing this is not yeah. gonna. Yeah. Yeah, see, it doesn't. It's not gonna move anymore. It doesn't make my legs move. Yeah, maybe yeah. this one. Maybe. Yeah, maybe this one. But see, even my legs planted. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know how he made the guy kick up here. He's just going like that, right? Yeah. 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 Then, so. Yeah, like that. Maybe. And once, if we're already in this kind yeah. of position, yeah. you're probably going to adjust yourself. Yeah, exactly. So you're, you're, I'm yeah. Probably, so what we're learning is not only does it not make the legs just go like this, she has to lift me, but also the other guy is probably going to adjust. They're going to be fighting. From a technique stature for someone who is smaller, such as myself, um, it's just not going to work. My monkey spinning on I'm your Danielle said something really good, which is the person trying to do that spinning armbar thing is giving up the back. Yeah. Right? The other assumption being made is that the person who's going for the takedown is just going to let his arm get kind of flailed out. He's going for the right leg, right? So he, he's kind of single legging, going for the right leg, and then grabbing this yeah, arm right here. This, and then boom, and then arm barring. Instead of and then he falls back over, yeah. almost yeah. like that. Like this. And the, the guy kind of to help the master kind of turns 
Like, yeah, yeah. He just or, he just falls. Yeah. yeah. Just, Which typically someone's gonna fight that, especially yeah. if you have your arm. They're really gonna grab onto it and hold it underneath them the yeah. best they can. Let's say I'm, I'm getting some resistance, right? Um, I mean, won't you fight for this leg? Yeah, you yeah. You're gonna want to pick that leg up yeah. as fast as you can, and also just me spinning is gonna immediately give up my backside yeah, for him, so, so, so he can just. Yeah. Oh, I see. So then it's like, okay, well, I'm just standing up. Yep. And uh, you're just going to literally take that, pull that arm back. Cause I don't have a lot of leverage in this standing like this. I'm not going to have a ton of leverage. So I'm going to try to go for this arm and I'm going to just go right up here. Wow. Look at how quick that was. Yeah. Here. So let's like drop my, yeah. It's... Yeah. The more it, when the second you bend down, the easier it is for me to just switch that so arm really turn, quick. Right? Yeah. yeah. You never want to give up that back. She's coming in quick, right? You have to like locate where that, left arm is specifically because it won't work on the right arm yeah, yeah I mean, so you have to make sure what leg they're going for you get the correct arm yeah. in about a, like what a half a second yeah. <laughs> yeah if she's coming in real quick by the time i turn i'm already on the ground and now she has my back on the ground as he starts coming through you want to hook your other arm underneath his arm and you're going to push down on the head and the arm at the same time we'll take down just gonna grab the head, push through. So this one feels like a no touch kind of Aikido thing. Let's say I'm going in for a leg or whatever, right? She puts the hand on my head. Now there is some leverage to this, right? I, a little, yeah. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. But the next part, so my, my arms are out. And I'm literally just supposed to flip yeah. you somehow like yeah. this. Where's that? Where's that? It does, it, it does feel like a stretch, but <laughs> I, don't, I don't go like, yeah, you don't yeah. go onto your back, so I'm going for your leg, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm going here. Yep. And then, oh, sorry. You're good. Here. Yeah. Here. So if anyone were to do this, okay. you're going to want to try and, it's called like you would swim. So you yeah. go just like this. Yeah, exactly. And just go right back into what you were doing. Why we had to rewatch the video was, I thought he was actually going like all the way here or something. Like, I th but he has no leverage here. He literally At the elbow, here. yeah. He's the crook of the elbow and the crook of the elbow. You should do the other side so they can oh, see. Oh, yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> Those here. It's crook of the elbow to crook of the elbow. Like, at first I thought he was maybe, you know, going deeper or something, but th he's literally just this. Yeah. There's Which, no again, you would just swim inside yeah. right like that and it's keep like doing normal. what you were doing. Yeah. She's just pummeling with me. A misinterpretation of technique. For sure. Everyone knows in Jiu Jitsu, if, if I'm shooting in, she's gonna sprawl on me, right? Sprawl way out, better, yeah. Way better. So let's say I'm shooting, I'm shooting in. And I'm gonna sprawl yeah. back. Worst comes to worst, just put both your hands on his head and sprawl. Yeah. Like, so <laughs> Smash, yeah. yeah. Yeah, like that. You can just sprawl like that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you're gonna wanna sprawl down the best you can, for yeah. sure. That's that's the main technique, yeah. so. Get the hips back, basically. Yeah. <laughs> How do we find you on social media? My Instagram is at Danielle underscore Hallie, H-A-L-L-E-Y underscore. And uh, Twitter is the same. Uh, and then my YouTube channel is new and it will also be the same. So. Okay. <laughs> and I'm going to encourage her to also create a YouTube channel for her dog. Yeah, yeah. I have an Instagram for him too. So okay. you can find him in my bio. <laughs> so it'll be a race between her YouTube channel and her dog's YouTube channel to see which one grows quick. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> Probably cool. him. <laughs> Probably my dog. If I come to your breakdowns, Jerry and Danielle.